Hello, welcome to Workout Wednesday, week three for 2023. This week we'll be creating a vertical line or area chart. I'll be doing this with the Plotly JS custom visual. Here we can see um, a vertical area graph, which shows how Republicans have moved further to the right in recent years than Democrats have moved to the left. and we can do some basic interactivity. This week was inspired by a number of Power BI community forum posts asking how to create vertical line graphs. And a Nightingale magazine, are vertical line charts ever a good idea? And in this um, article, we come across a number of different examples of vertical line graphs. Data this week comes from Vote View. And if we scroll down, we can find the CSV file. And we'll transform data once we've imported the data. And we'll select the chamber. year or Congress, depending on how you'd like to present your graph. And I'll grab Democrats and Republicans and then remove other columns. We will transform and, oops, select the values and unpivot. And we'll call these party. And for this particular, I'm going to choose just the house. You can create visuals for both the house and the Senate if wanted. I'm just going to filter to house just for this one visual. And just remembering it might also be helpful to rename the parties to Democrats. And Republicans. Going to go into App Source to get more visuals. And search for the Plotly visual. And add. We 
can now bring in the custom visual onto the canvas. Select the fields that we wish to use. So in this case, I'm going to use year, party and deviation. And in the ellipses, I'm going to hit edit visual. And here we can see a blank canvas. I'm going to set the year to don't summarize, or I could drag in any index field, but I'm going to do a don't summarize, and I'm then going to add a trace to area. And on the X, I will add deviation. And on the Y, I will set to year. And I'm going to change the orientation of the trace to horizontal. Under transforms, I'm going to add a transform and I'm going to split the data by party. And I'm going to add a sort, I'm going to sort by year as well. Under style, I'm going to go into traces. stack to none and the field area x is zero like so. Here I can change the color. I'll leave it as is. And then the second one, I'm going to do the same. Change the color to red. And the fill to X is zero. Then under annotate, I'll choose text and add an annotation. Oops. And I'll call this one More left. I'll add another one that's called more right. Another one's called Republican. And I'll remove the arrow off of that one and another one called Democrat and I'll remove the arrow off of that one as well. In the JSON I will save And I am attempting to change the order of the axes, in which case I will look for the axes here. It says auto range true. I'm going to set this to On the Y axis, auto range 2 on the Y axis, I'm going to set this to reversed. And my Y axis now goes in the opposite direction. 
In the JSON, we can also adjust the annotations to be a little bit more precise rather than dragging them around on our canvas. So with the more right, I'm going to set the X to be the opposite of what I've done for the more left. Set that to 0, 3, 5 and set the Y to 2010. We're going to get the anchor to be left and then right. I'm going to have the Republicans show at negative point 0.1. Democrat at point one and the year as nineteen ninety. Oops, and I seem to have a mistake somewhere. Oops, that's because there's a dot point there. Hide the legend and save. And we can continue to format as much as we see fit.